Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Dishonored, the adventures of the world's worst assassin. I mean... Uh, no, no, I mean, oh, I guess you can't do the shadow jump thing. trying to get away. Now she keeps the key with her. You've got to find the key so we can leave. Alright. I'll hide here until you get the key. Alright. You do that. This seems easy. But we all know I'm gonna fuck it up. You must have come by boat. I'll wait for you near the boat. I remember the way. Don't worry about me. All right. Now what else was I here for? I was here to kill some people. Right. Let's, let's do this. Smoking room, ivory room. Well, I don't exactly remember what my goal is here. No one fucking hear that? Good. Huh. Well, there's only one of you. It's trash, if you ask me. There's only one of you, right? I don't see another one. I probably don't even have to. I just have to wait until it goes somewhere else. Or I could take him out right now. He's standing there an awfully long time. Let me just scout out the rest of this room. Nothing else here. Oh crap! It's not the way I wanted to do this at all. Crap. Talk to that nice girl again. The one I told you about. I realize you're at the golden cat, right? Yeah, but she's different. She really likes me. <laughs> Idiot. She likes your money, not you. You're just jealous. Shut up. Huh? Oh, hi! <laughs> that was not at all what I expected! Okay. This could have gone a lot smoother. have gone a lot smoother. Think anyone will notice? Don't need that. Oh, 
Ace has gone to the hounds. What will I do now? I hear he didn't say a word, but he went through the place like the outsider himself. Maybe the plague's driven him crazy. He didn't fight plague mad, he had discipline. Mark me. You get that mask off, and you'll see a weeper. Know what I think? Each one of those. That's how far he used to fight his shadow. He can read it to us. Wait. Fuck. All right. Going all guns and blazing at this point. Oh crap! Okay, you got a gun. Fuck! Did you go? should have found him by now. Could it be a false alarm? I'm not leaving until everything's quiet. I'm a Pendleton. People envy us, you know. A fortune, a vote, a good luck. In some way... I need help! <laughs> okay, that was not the... Like, that, that was possibly the least obvious that I could have been. But you know what? I don't care. That, that, made, for, that made for entertainment for me. Zombies? I didn't expect to fight zombies so soon.
it sharp. Call out to each other if you spot him. Ran off, coward. Ah, uh, motherfucker! Look, guys, I'm out of bolts. I, I'm out of fucking gun stuff. I'm not out of bolts, actually. There's gonna be more crawlers, guys. Don't. Attention, citizens of Dunwall. The Lord Regent. Doing this is gonna be difficult for me right now. Ready to go back, Corvo? You made short work of things. Get in. I did make short work of things. I actually am surprised about that. It only took two episodes to get this done. Uh, overall chaos high. Yeah. Uh, whatever. I, I don't care at this point. We, we've all seen by now, I suck at this game. <laughs> Alright. So you did the business, did you, Corvo? I'm not one to speak against my betters, mind you, but if anybody ever deserved their fate, it was those Pendletons. What business are you talking about? Oh, I, uh, grown-up business, girl. I mean, your ladyship. Forgive me. It's okay. I heard a lot of grown-up business at the Golden Cat. Oh, I should concentrate on piloting this boat. Young Lady Emily, I'm Callista. I'll be caring for you and schooling you while you're with us. Pleased to meet you. As am I. Would you like to see your room in the tower? Can I see it? Yes, you may. You'll get to see it all. The entirety of the Hound Pits. Good. I think I'll like it here. I'll go with Callista, Corvo. I'll see you later. You do not fail to impress. Armed with a blade, you've changed the course of the city forever. And with the Pendleton twins gone, our own Lord Pendleton will assume their votes in Parliament. In one night, you've done more than most men do in a lifetime. I need to speak to you soon. But for now, Lord Pendleton requests your attention. Oh, he's up there. Okay. All right. Conspiracy thanks you for your work. I don't know if I can. My own brothers. We never believed that you killed the Empress. It made much more sense that the Royal Spy Master, now the Lord Regent, was behind it, aided by some of his key allies. We spent a lot of money and exposed ourselves to great risk in getting you out of prison. But we did it because we believe that you're the one that can make the difference. Oh, and Havelock's looking for you. Attention. Supplies of Sokolov's elixir have reached a critical low point. 
ordinary citizens will be limited to purchasing half a dose per day. All right, my friend. Martin's devised our next move. There's a footnote in Campbell's journal that tells us the Lord Regent's mistress sat for a portrait with Sokolov, the painter and royal physician. He'll be able to give us her name. Sokolov lives on Caldwin's Bridge about half the time, out over the river. The catch is that I'm afraid you've got to head out right away while Sokolov is at his apartment on the bridge. Samuel can get you close to the bridge, but you'll have to find Sokolov. Bring him back here intact, and it'll enable us to make our next move. I can't believe what you've done so far. Escaping from Coldridge, taking down the High Overseer, recovering Emma. You make this old military man proud. That's it, then. All right, now we go and meet Samuel. But, uh, actually, before then... Yo, where are you? I need bolts and shit. There you are. Ask me for any gear you need. Yes, I need gear. Fucking I definitely need gear. Grenade I I don't know what to say. is in that water. Yeah, I see where that rune is. I don't know how to get to it. Perhaps we can go down here? Attention. Your first responsibility is to the city health. A spouse, a or child.
Yeah, I'm surprised Corvo wouldn't come down with the plague after all, uh, after all this freaking sewage and shit that I've been in, and how many rats have bitten me. I mean, game shouldn't be realistic, right? All right, Samuel. Off to Caldwin's bridge, sir. We'll get our sleep later. All right. Just climb aboard when you're ready. <clears throat> and with that, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Dishonored. If you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to see more, hit that subscribe button. There'll be another episode of Dishonored on Wednesday. So we'll see you then. Take care.